this is David with ATEC. Um, a lot of you are familiar with the developer options um, in your settings, but um, for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, you never used it, you do understand the concept of it, but you're kind of afraid of knowing whether or not what to touch and whatnot in the developer options menu. This video is for you. So basically developer options, what it can do for your device and they can do a numerous of things. It could show your CPU usage, secondary screen displays and etc. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to get in there and what does what. So um, first of all, what you need to do is you want to go straight into your settings and you want to scroll all the way down to it says where uh, where it says about device. Once you click on about device, you're going to see an option where it says software info. You want to click on software info and you want to look for a build number. Now what you want to do is you want to hit the build number repeatedly seven times after you do that it's gonna say you are now a developer on the bottom of your screen so after you get done doing that you want to back out and go back into your settings and you'll see an option where it says developer options right above your device about device click on developer options now you have a couple of things here that you can do and um, this is a tip actually for you guys out there that are kind of like well my device is lagging and I really don't know what to do to save it or help it what you can do to speed up your device a little bit is if you scroll all the way down you want to look for category under drawing now once you go here you're gonna see options where it says window animation scale transition animation scale and amateur duration scale now what those of you want to do is click on one of them okay and automatically it's going to be set to scale 1.5x now if you want to speed it up you want to go ahead and either check in 1x 0.5x or off now if you guys are unfamiliar with animation i'll show you exactly what this is animation is basically so for an example if i were to click on um say um settings and you'll have that little preview of it going into the actual settings and loading it up or whatnot. That's basically what animation is. Now, as you can see, it was running a little slow as I was opening it up into the settings menu. So, like I said, again, window animation skill. If you want to speed it up a little bit, I would say put it on 0.5x, or you can just turn it off if you're not really too worried about the animation. After you go ahead and you select that option, go to transition animation scale and go ahead and do 0.5x again and then underneath that do the same thing 0.5x and now you want to go down to where it says hardware accelerating rendering right here is just gonna say force GPU rendering you want to go ahead and turn that on basically use 2d hardware acceleration in applications it's going to help speed up your actual device as well as changing the animation scale so go ahead and turn that on Another good tip is if you scroll down just a little bit where it says apps and it says right here, don't keep activities, force quit every activity on existing apps. So you want to go ahead and check that. Um, if you guys are not understanding what this means, um, basically whatever you open in your device and you don't close it out, it runs in the background and it can consume battery and it could slow down your device if it's open for a long period of time. So with this being turned on, every time you open up an application and you exit out of it, it closes it up completely, 110%. So it saves on battery and it also saves on your uh, speed and your memory on your uh, device. Um, another good tip here is if you go down to where it says, like say for example, if you want to hook up your device to a computer, uh, right here where it says debugging, you can click uh, USB debugging mode when USB is connected so you can turn that on um, enable view attribute inspection that's another option you can uh, do um, there's another cool feature here and I'm going to go under drawings and right here it's going to say simulate secondary displays now if you guys don't know what this is basically it's a second window that's on your desktop and I'll show you uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select 1080p 
And as you can see, there's your secondary display screen. Um, I think it's a really cool, neat little feature you can do with your device. Um, and as you can see, once you get out of the settings, you still have it. Um, it doesn't really matter what you open up, it's still going to be on 24 7. Now, if you guys want to turn it off, all you have to do is just go back into your settings, go under where it says writing, back up a little bit more, right here, drawing, I'm sorry, under drawing, and where it says simulate secondary displays, you can go ahead and just check it to none, and it takes off the secondary display screen. Um, another good little tip is flash views inside windows when drawn with GPU. Um, another one is show hardware layers updates, flash hardware layers green when they update. Um, another one you have is simulate color space. Now basically what this means is you can you can uh, change the, the colors of your device into a different color. And what I'm going to do is red and green. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my desktop. And as you can see, the colors have completely changed. And um, yeah, I'm not really too fond of that feature, but a lot of people out there might like it. So I figured, hey, you know, what the hell, show it to you anyways. But if you want to turn it off, just go back and hit disable onto that selection under simulate color space. Um, we have one more little feature that I like too. It says show CPU usage. You can turn it on on the right hand side as you can see that you can see that CPU usage. So I think that's another cool little feature. So yeah, you can turn it off or leave it on, whatever. Um, other than that, that's that's really it. Um, for you guys out there that are kind of wondering what did what, there you go. Hope it was a very helpful uh, tip. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, other than that, I, guy, I will see you guys on Friday uh, for another video. Until then, y'all be cool.